Number four, fourth video, because for some reason we can't record. No, because our stupid storage will not keep the videos in check. And we got 20 minutes on this one, so. So we really need to push this, so let's go. Next. We can still do rants, I told you about our plan, but anyway. Yeah. Number 10, the universe of science and space technology. I'm interested where you go with this. Uh huh. There are many things in Power Rangers shows and movies that take a leap in logic. However, you know there's something wrong when a series about teenage fight fighters decide to focus on science and tech instead of fighting. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, the people of Earth got fed up with so many persistent monster attacks and decided to build a city sized spaceship for neutral civilization. Mm -hmm. As impossible as all this is, it also happens in 99 when such technology is not available yet. This spaceship carries an actual city and travels through space where new hospitable planets is found. Everything else in the series is updated, so how are they able to do that? Uh, I don't know if it's canon, but the, the Power Rangers accepted belief is that this is technology from the Dark Fortress after Countdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Power Rangers Operation Overdrive Red Ranger is a robot. Yeah, so... How does this make no sense? It's a deal. What's the big deal? Power Rangers Operation Overdrive is problematic in many ways, but one of the biggest issues involves something that happens halfway through the season. I'd say it takes place near the end. I wouldn't say halfway. Yeah. I'd say yeah, halfway. right about near the end. I'd say, yeah, because it's like, what, five? Six episodes till the end? Because yeah. it's when he gets his battleizer. And he get and when he gets the battleizer, the show's over pretty soon after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're getting I think they're getting the fifth No, it's when they get the fourth jewel. So yeah, yeah. right near the end. Alright. Anyway, that's too that's too much of an issue. Is it revealed that Mac, the red overdrive uh, yeah, it's Mac, I thought you said Mark. No. Yeah. That's I wouldn't be surprised. This is this list. Doctor Z. Really? Z Unless it's just a big fan of SPD and try to make their own head cannon. Mm. <laughs> That's my job, my head cannon. The Red Oak is in fact a robot that his father Andrew Hertford built after he learned that he couldn't have children. He could have children, he just didn't have time to find the right woman. Yeah. This development causes a lot of issues with the show that opens the gates to a ton of un unanswered questions. Alright, alright, that can make sense. However, maybe the weirdest part of art is that Mac turns into a real boy at the end of the season for no reason. The Corona Aurora. Hello! Which turned Kaiser from a scaly creature to human. And he only had two gems then. Yeah. They had all five in the stone and they said that that basically had infinite power. It'd be like, I think, an uh, example would be like the Corona Aurora, it's like the Infinity Gauntlet. If you have that, you would won. Mm. Except Flurry. I don't know. Flurry has Look, RP RPM, RPM causes issues. We don't need more. Oh. Yeah. Nope. N ah, 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 stupid ad. Fix your website. However, maybe the weirdest part. Uh, uh, though it's surprising to find out the main character of the season was an actual robot. It's even weirder when when to see that to see said robot eventually transform into a human. It's supposed to be sentimental, but it's just weird. Corona Aurora. You have your explanation. Done. Okay, then remember, uh, remember when we were doing this and I said, oh, what's going to be one of the ones that I would have put down? Uh -huh. Why don't Power Rangers ever lend a hand in battle? Oh, okay. Look, this is a legit issue that Power Rangers mm. have kind of not given an answer to. Yeah. I've given my sentimental reason. This is their fight, because in all the other past team-ups, other than Anniversary, it's always been something from the past team, like Fakina, the Psycho Rangers, the yeah. Demons. But... Look, I'll accept that. Also, I like, I like how they used this shot from Super Sentai. Cause see, that's that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always just thought like it's their fight. They need to learn of how to be yeah. rangers if they want to live up to the legacy. But uh, I'll I'll give you that can be a legit problem. Right. One of the reasons why Power Rangers is so popular with audiences is due to the fact that it's able to reinvent itself over the years. Because of this, the franchise is able to try out new ideas. The franchise could have attempted to tell one continuous story throughout all its series, but instead it decided to introduce new casts and sets of rangers whenever a new show or movie was made. 
I'd say you can make an argument that Power Rangers is all one continuous season. Mm. Granted, there are a couple of ones that kind of throw a wrench in that. Oh, I know what number one's going to be. Dino Charge finale. Oh, oh wait, no, this was made for the 20th anniversary of Dino Charge. Ha- Dino Charge hasn't fucked up the timeline. Yeah. So I'd say like, the only one that causes an issue would be RPM. Mm. But anyway. In Power Rangers Super Mega Force, it's established that Power Rangers can return under the right circumstances. However, this raises a question. Why don't Rangers stick around to help help more often with the bigger fetch? Sure, it can't be a party all the time, but having these guys appear more than once may do more harm than me. May do more good than harm? No, it says more. Sure, it can't be a party all the time, but having these guys appear more than once may do more harm than good. I'm sorry, what? You fucked it up. Yeah, look before you submit your things. What? Okay, this really fucks this up. Because it says it's built for its 20th anniversary. Right, right, right. They fucked up the... They fucked up this. What? Ninja Steel, Gold Rangers, Guitar Sword and Cowboy. And Rangers, Bergamorpha. So, either they fucked up saying it's the 25th anniversary coming up. Or they're talking about the Sentai because he doesn't have the Burger Muffet in Power Rangers. No, and even though in, he should. In Ninja Steel, it's it's his Power Star and his weapon, yeah. which is the Morpher. The Burger Morpher is only in the Sentai. They they have it as his phone for the second episode he appears. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. But and Kama. Yeah, I I wish he is the Burger because it's funny. Power Rangers Ninja Steel really embraces the whole ninja aesthetic. However, for some reason, it decided to go in a completely different direction for its sixth range. Yeah, okay, I think they meant for the 25th anniversary. Yeah. Because they're not adapting this, because it's not the same type, because they called it Ninja Steel, not a fake name. Mm. I feel like it would be, I feel like Ninja Steel's not obvious enough. Yeah. The series insisted to decide the sixth range to represent the U.S. For some reason, it's never really explained. Does he really represent the U.S.? He's a country singer. He's a singer. He's a country singer, and that's quite American, but other than that, Maybe? This range just sword is a guitar and his sword is basically a giant mechanical bull like all terrain vehicle. Unfortunately, he never gets a headline or rock concert made of entirely six rangers. I have I have a critique and then something I would love. Critique, he's a country singer, not a rock singer. Ah. Uh, though something I would love is that I now want I now want a a concert of all just six rangers. Hmm. Because Antonio could he could play the guitar. Okay, good. I was like, did Antonio sing or play the guitar? Both. No, no, one. No, because I remember the pink, the pink Samurai Ranger did another one. I couldn't remember who did what. Yeah, they both sang. Uh, in all, if all of that wasn't enough, the Sentai equivalent from Japan, the Gold Rangers, Cowboy Morphe, perhaps. Then Sentai isn't Power Rangers. I hate when they compare the two. Mm-hmm. Power mm-hmm. uh, Rangers get baked into a giant pizza. Oh, come on! That's brilliant! That's funny! That's cool! That's Sentai at its best. Power Rangers have faced plenty of unusual predicaments throughout the, their monster fighting careers, but the Super Rangers really go overboard. In the episode, Tr- Trouble by the Slice, I features an eccentric villain named Mad Mike Monster, who decides to defeat the Rangers in a conventional way. According to Mike... Mad Mike Monster, it's easier to eat the rangers than beat them. Yeah, I'm a hungry boy, I'd rather eat the rangers than fight them. Yeah, because there's been loads of villains who... I, re- I really wanted to make a sex joke. Mm, don't. We're past it for time. <laughs> yeah, Mad Mike traps them in a giant uh, in a huge oven, adds ingredients, and makes them into pizza. This raises a lot of questions. After all, shouldn't the high temperatures eliminate the rangers? Suits. This is protect them. Yeah. This will protect them from heat. Oh, I forgot this existed. The dark ba- the badges of darkness. Yeah. What well, the evil rangers? Uh, With the worst suits ever, I forgot how awful they looked. Yeah, they were not. Season Season one. No. Wait. Give me a minute. I want to see where they continue with this. Zed was in season two. Yes, he was. But they did. But the dark. But the. But the. Those are Zed. That's yes. Zed. No, but remember, the Pocket Patrol first had yes. the Dark Morphers first. Yeah, I don't think those are the same. 
I think Zed, I think these are like ranges that Zed created on his own. I don't right. Think well, let's just continue on. We'll see where you go. Season one of Mighty Morphin had established the tone and set the stage for many follow-up seasons. All right, fine. Created in the future. As a result, a few plot holes are excusable. For instance, in the, in the episode Mighty Morphin Mutants, sees Golgar acquire the badges of the... Okay, they just got the wrong Yeah. Picture. They just got the wrong picture. Yeah. So, lazy. Not only do these items sound intimidating, but they also have the power to change parties into evil ranges with power rangers. So this race with a few questions. How can it do this? Does this only happen if they put on parties? Why not use them more often? Powers of darkness even give them the ability... Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I... Uh, go to boss, 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 boss. Hit, up, hit the boss. Uh, okay, hopefully this doesn't look so bad. Uh, we had to quickly put this on to charge. This video, this the list is haunted. Uh huh. But okay, we're four. Four. We're almost there. Ball control turns into chimps and become invisible. Ball control first appeared in Power Rangers with simple mind abilities. They may have gotten a little over the top sometimes, but their schemes are usually always grounded in reality. Why? Oh, wow. Why? With just the letter Y. And it's not even like a question. I feel, I feel like, I don't want to, I don't want to hate on the person. I'm not even looking at who wrote this. Don't ever send any hate to anyone on this. I feel like the person who wrote this just didn't care. Yeah, he's. I feel like this person did this because they were going to get paid. And yeah. they just looked at some quick notes that they didn't really read. By the time the Power Rangers Turbo came around, though the series really struggled to figure out what, to do with a mischievous duel. Because of this, the series put them through a situation that made no sense whatsoever. At one point, Elgar turned them both into chimpanzees, and they then became human again after a random explosion. But somehow they were suddenly invisible. The invisibility didn't last for the rest of the season, but it's still crazy. Why chimpanzees and why invisible? I'll give you that. Tur I'm not touching Turbo. No, Turbo was just a mixture of stuff. <laughs> Tommy kicks the dinosaur, survives, and wins. Fine. In order to properly enjoy Power Rangers series, you have to understand why some wacky things happen. Yes. Yeah. Or be high as hell. Mm-hmm. Man, Power Rangers best. I don't even know what that voice was. However, one element that stays relatively grounded in the franchise is human personas. They may have tons of powers, but when they're in the, when they're in the range suits, but when their suits are off and no longer, and it's no longer morphin time, they're everyday people. Yeah, they're normally shown to be much stronger than a regular person. Mm -hmm. However, it doesn't explain how Tommy is able to defeat a dinosaur. You don't understand this robot dinosaur, not an actual dinosaur. Yeah. Dino Thunder sets Dino Thunder sets the bar special hydro in its first episode. In it, Tommy has a PhD in paleontology and at one point kicks the T-Rex in the face and survives. What? You understand it's a robot? Yeah, and it's not an actual real might, dinosaur. It might still be powerful because it is kind of showing that Power Rangers are naturally stronger. Yeah. Okay. This one is... I do agree. What? Power Rangers exist in the same universe as the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that was just so cool. Sometimes there are crossovers between properties that make a lot of sense due to similarities between the two. Also, I like this. I don't get where, where they got this. I don't, I don't know. That was probably from the crossover of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from now in the, in the 1960s. Maybe. They, they in the 1980s. There was 80s, sorry. These ones. Sorry, 80s, 80s, I, 80s. I don't know. Yeah, they, uh, they made this. Then they are mashups that fall into the category of totally into a truly baffling. However, this is not to say that they're all that they aren't also truly entertaining. In the episode Shell Shell Shocked, Parents in Space and the Ninja Turtles from the Ninja Turtles and the Next Mutation Show, which was god awful. Bad. Give the Rangers a hand. Not only does the Turtles from Next Mutation not take place in space, neither does it in space. As much as in space loves to say it's in space, ninety percent of it takes place on Earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's something I hate. But it also also, this sort of crossover creates more questions than it answers. Worst of all, it happens in power in the Power Rangers shows, not the Ninja Turtles. So the Power so the Power Rangers continuity suffers the most. I think it's more like it says that they exist in the same universe. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, fine. I'll give this one the last one. Why are the Power Rangers teenagers? Oh, I guess. No, that is it. Okay, 
Not all of them, but Mighty Morphin especially. That does create a genuine question. Why? Because their teenagers are more... Because teenagers have like a more wonder, they get like a more agile or something. No, like. that's a lie and a half. Teenagers, if anything, teenagers are the worst type of people to become Power Rangers. Kids are easily molded. Adults are better in better in a brute. Teenagers are the worst. It's a Maybe joke. because of adults have jobs. Yeah, no, just get military again. Military? Ha! Yeah, light speed rescue. That's essentially military. Oh, right, I thought you were actually talking real life military, but those were experimental Zordon and Alpha Trail, right? No, but I meant like get soldiers. Yeah. Get like top of the line soldiers and have them become Power Rangers. Mm. Like like Speed Rescue did. Mm. Except those were rescue workers, but it's more or less the same idea. Mm-hmm. Power Rangers was meant to be a franchise that appears to young adults as to kids. Yeah. However, it really doesn't make any sense that the Defenders of the Universe are a bunch of underdog teenagers. It doesn't. But, uh, for a logist- from a logistic standpoint, the whole idea of Power Rangers is that they're supposed to be individuals who are best suited to save the world. So why does- so why does the honor always fall in high schools? Granted, some Power Rangers series like Time Force, SPD, and RPM feature grown protagonists. I like Speed Rescue, but I'll, I'll let that slide. Alright, and the show's heroes certainly age as the series go on. However, it seems like adults would be better suited to protect them. Alright, fine. Ho, ho. Are there any other things that Power Rangers make no sense? Let us know in the comments below. Why is your list so bad? Uh huh. Why is it a load of crap? Uh, Jesus thing. Uh, come on, come on. Go down, go down. Where's the comments? Well, did they disable comments? Because they were so. I, uh, there's like Facebook, Twitter, and that. There are no comments! Ah! I want to believe. Okay, I know it's probably because no one really read this. Mm-hmm. I want to believe it's just because people were calling them out and they deleted them. Yeah. I want to believe that, but no. <laughs> so overall, I'm gonna just close this tab and then close this. Close this. This is the worst list I've ever read. Big time. Mate, but the things that make no sense, this list makes no sense. There are spelling, there, I wouldn't say there's spelling mistakes, but there's errors like the Y and the gold, because they corrected themselves. It would have been one thing if they said he was the gold ranger throughout the whole thing. Uh-huh. No, they changed it to silver ranger. Uh, this list is awful. It's always that the person just wasn't, didn't know power. He obviously got some, he obviously got some quick notes. Yeah. And they were probably incorrect. Dr. Z, I hate that. The whole RPM yeah, thing really? I just don't like. Anyway, I thought the the twenty five strongest and weakest Power Rangers was a bad one. Oh, At yeah. least that one made some reference to sense. Oh, yeah. This is bad, very bad. Also, I think this list was cursed because it took us four four videos to do this. Yeah, I know, and we haven't even oh, it's just been another. Yes. but we ha- we will try yes. and upload this. Yes. Please. Anyway, we have called it. I've been the Scottish Nerd, and I've been the Super Ultra Ranger. This has been the worst list of Power Rangers ever, and I genuinely, 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 genuinely don't ever want to do this again. But I'm going to because this was probably going to be the most entertaining video we've ever done. Yeah, I know, because we failed so many times. No, it's because of the rage. Anyway, bye.